Hello friends, uh, welcome to one more video on NISM 19C certification which is related to alternative investments, uh, fund management. I am going to take you through uh, the uh, multiple choice questions related to chapter 7 which is about alternative investment fund ecosystem. So in this video you will uh, get to work on 10 quiz questions which I will take you through one by one. I'm sure these questions are going to be useful for you uh, when you prepare for your exam. Uh, please uh, do not forget to subscribe to this channel which you have been doing uh, and uh, also like this video that will help me to put more content on this video which will be helpful for all of us including you, right? So with this uh, background, let me start with the first question which is which of the following nurtures the AIF industry? If the alternative investment fund industry has to grow, it needs support. So this question tries to investigate that part. Is it investor, alternative investment fund manager, sponsors, or external service providers such as uh, custodians and many other entities? So what should be our answer? Well, AIF needs all four of them. So we'll go with the answer all of them because without all these four, it's not possible for AIF to grow, right? That's really easy because you will need investors who will invest in AIF. You will need fund manager who will manage the fund. Sponsors basically start the AIF. And external service providers are useful players who help AIF work, operate, right? Like a custodian. Uh, the next question is dash 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 is not, is not for profit organization that donates funds and provides support to other organizations for charitable purposes. Well, this is more of an information based question. So it goes without saying that we will select the option foundation. Sovereign wealth fund, fund of funds and endowments uh, are not in this particular category, right? The next question is minimum corpus in each scheme of AIF should be what, right? And also what should be the maximum number of investors in single scheme? So there is a threshold or there is a restriction which ap applies here and that restriction we need to know. So that restriction in terms of minimum is 20 and as far as uh, uh, you know uh, maximum number of investors are concerned it will be 1000. Okay. So the option D should be right here and that's what is the right option. Uh, well this takes us quickly to the question number 4. Investors under AIF regulations are called What's the different name that is given to them? We know unit holders name is given to mutual funds. Is it given to in context of AIFs also? Similarly, you may have names such as contributors, partners or shareholders. Well, shareholders is what we typically associate with those who buy shares of the company. So which is the term which is applicable here? Which option should be right? Should we go with C, partners or shareholders or should we go with D? Or should we go with the most comprehensive, which is A? So the answer is unit holders, contributors, partners, or shareholders. They are called by either of the four names. I hope you're finding these questions to be useful so far, right? Let us move to question five. In the limited liability pa partnership structure of AIF that is widely prevalent abroad, the investment managers are known as what? So what's the another name given to investment managers? Again, it's an in information based question. We will we call them as uh, general partners, right? They're the general partners, okay? And that's the name that is given to them, correct? So we will go with the option A here, right? Let us move to question number six. Books of accounts of AIFs shall be audited at what frequency? Should it be quarterly? Should it be monthly? Or should it be once in two years? Well, none of them. It has it is done annually, right? Well, this kind of question in the exam may not come directly, okay? However, there could be you know a paragraph, a sentence, a case in which such kind of a scenario may be given, and then the questions around that may be asked. Well, that could be a true or false question also. Uh, so uh, you need to know the concept so that you can understand the uh, understand it and uh, answer any question at any stage, right? Question number seven. The sponsor of the manager of AIF is required to maintain for a period of how many years uh, after the winding up of the fund records such as assets under scheme, valuation policies, uh, investment strategies, okay, details of uh, investors, 
all these details are, that is to be maintained after winding up which means when the scheme has been kind of closed right so typically you know for multiple similar questions you have the number years number of years fixed at 5 so here also we will go with 5 right so that's the 5 because this is as per the regulation question number 8 which of the following need to keep investors informed of progress of fund investment made key terms of the fund new developments in the industry impacting the fund launch of fund and so on so much of information who is supposed to give should it be the distributor custodian or trustee no none of them it is actually investment manager who will do this job i hope you are with me as far as this question is concerned question number nine relates to which of the following entities ensure that all transactions entered into by managers are in compliance with regulations and scheme objectives and intent as far as aifs are concerned well this is a very easy question to answer who would do this the responsibility lies with the trustees here and i hope you are with me as far as this question is also concerned so we move on to the next question which is question number 10 which of the following remuneration is not earned by the fund manager so fund managers may earn different types of remuneration they may earn salary from investment management company profit sharing or bonus that they may earn but uh, they will not earn the management fee this will be earned by investment management company not by the investment manager so rather than selecting all of the above we will select management fee as the answer so i had 10 questions for you which i created with an intent to give you an understanding of this chapter thank you so much for your valuable time but let me remind you that you should not forget to subscribe to this channel and like multiple videos which i have posted for your benefit thank you so much for